Modern infrastructure need modern approaches to management and monitoring. So ultimately, there are several key issues that people need to look at. First is end-to-end -end visibility, uh, the ability to see and externalize different data points from all aspects of the platform, whether that's cloud-based or not. And that allows you to, in essence, get the raw data that's going to allow you to manage and monitor those platforms better. So once we get that information, we need intelligent analytics, the ability to consume the information and do things with it that are going to be creative, go to the productivity of the system. They're going to provide us with the capability of keeping that system up and running by managing and monitoring not only just gathering data points and raw information that we're looking at, but the ability to kind of look at what this means from an analytical perspective. Predictive analytics in terms, in terms of performance issues, predictive analytics in terms of stability issues, all these things can be intercepted, understood, and solved. Next is contextual log analytics, the ability to kind of look at the information that's coming off this megabytes and gigabytes of log files that we're generating and actually look at it in context of things that are currently happening within the system. For example, the ability to kind of look at performance issues that, that come up around a breach. As people are attacking the system, it's going to cause issues with performance of that system. Well, we'll understand from now on that performance issues are typically going to be bound with security issues and that we need to kind of marry the two and setting up automatic triggers and automatic processes in place to defend the system proactively. Next is capacity analytics, the ability to kind of look at what the capacity of the system needs to be and how we're going to be able to move up in those directions. So if my server needs are going to change, and my storage needs are going to change, and my database needs are going to change, when do those changes need to occur? And what kinds of provisioning needs to occur within my cloud-based system or my on-premise-based system to keep up with the demand of the business? Then finally, rapid deployment of policies and configuration. This stuff has to happen fast. If it doesn't happen fast, then we're not going to be solving any problems. This cannot take weeks, this cannot take months. This has to be something that we have to basically get on, solve the problem, and roll it out.